Hmm, what do we have over here? Oh my god, hey! Hey! I was not expecting to see oh you. What are the odds? What are the odds that I, run, that I run into you? Check out our crib. Welcome back to my channel. Currently filming in this little mirror because today's video is going to be an apartment tour. I'm gonna to be showing you guys what's going on in the apartment, everything that we have and where everything is from. Really quickly, if you guys are not already following my Instagram, you should totally go do that. I've been really trying to make an effort to post more often for you guys and give you more updates about YouTube and my college life and stuff like that. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into the apartment tour. So when you first walk into our apartment, the first thing that you'll see to your left is this mirror here. We got this from Amazon actually. I believe it was like $50, $60. We just wanted a little mirror here so that before you leave the apartment, you can check yourself out. It's very important. And then across from that, as you can see on this wall, I got this little hanger. It's meant for keys and stuff. It has little hooks on the bottom. This is from Amazon. I'm gonna try to have this link down below for you guys. But we use this just to hang our keys and our masks. And I have my one purse there. And of course, I put some vines on it because I put vines on everything in this apartment, as you will see. And then right to the right of that, we have this little closet. This is pretty much just a storage closet. We just keep a bunch of coats in here. The only problem with this closet, guys, is it straight up smells like cheese. It's because the trash chute is right next door to us and it's like right next to this closet. So every time we go in there, it just smells like cheese in the bad way. <laughs> anyway, so moving on from the closet, once you walk further into the entryway here, to the right you will see the kitchen. The one nice thing I really like about our kitchen is the fact that we have this little breakfast bar here. So you can see we have a little countertop that kind of overlooks the apartment. We'll get to that in a second. And here we just keep some flowers that Liz got. We have a little scorpion bowl filled with grapes. <laughs> I feel like the kitchen is like the least exciting part about our apartment, so I'm just gonna skip through this. But if you do have any questions about it or you wanna know where something's from, just comment down below and I'll try to answer that for you guys. So moving on from the kitchen, down that way is all of our bedrooms and stuff. I will show you that in a little bit. We have this clock here, which is from Ikea. We also have a little Black Lives Matter poster hanging up on this wall. And then this is my favorite part of the apartment. This is our living room. So the way that we decided to break up our living room, we did one half of it a dining room and then the other half more of a family room type area. So we have two couches here. This one Lizzie actually brought from home, so we got that one for free, which is awesome. And then this one I literally bought from Nadine for 30 bucks, so that was such a good deal. We also have a bunch of throw pillows. You guys know I love throw pillows. These are all from Amazon. I ordered them in like a pack of four or six or something like that. Again, I'll have that link down below just like everything else. This pillow, this fluffy one here is actually the only one that's not from Amazon. Pretty sure it was from Home Goods. I also put this throw blanket on the couch here. Honestly, its main purpose is to just hide some of the stains because <laughs> this couch is so old, so it does have quite a few stains on it. Plus, we just eat food on here all the time. So then we also have these two red chairs here, which Abigail brought. Then this little area, this wall, is probably my favorite wall of the entire apartment. I just really like how it came together. Our TV stand is from Ikea, so that little bowl is from the thrift store, and so is this little rhino. You're gonna see this as a pretty big trend in our apartment. I started getting really into going to the thrift store and looking for fun little pieces that are unique that I can put in the apartment that aren't too expensive. So here, you can see, like I was just saying, I got both of these containers from the thrift store. They're both like a dollar each. And then on this side of the TV, we got these candles in a pack from Amazon. And I got this plant, he's so cute, from a local shop in DC. And the little bin that it's in is from Ikea. Okay, right underneath that, we have our Wii here. Wow, look how dusty it is too, that's really gross. I like kind of cleaned up in preparation for this video, but not as well as I should have. We also have these drawers in our TV stand. This is where I'm storing some of the drawings that we made. As you can see, they're pretty talented. Like, look at that, come on. We painted those the other day. <laughs> and then we also have all of our Wii games and remotes and stuff in this drawer. 
to the left of the TV stand, we have this lamp here, which again, if you guys remember my college shopping vlog, is from Ikea. This little stool next to it here is from Home Goods, I believe. And then on this wall, it's Gibby. <laughs> so we have a little tapestry of Gibby. Lizzie brought this, of course, and she said she got it from either Society6 or Redbubble, so I'll try to find one and link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. And then next to that, on this wall, I have some records hanging up. These I got from the thrift store. They were literally a dollar or two dollars each. Then I have all these vines which I hung up using a little wire. These are the exact same ones that were hanging up in my dorm room last year, so I'll try to link them down below again. And then to the right of that, I also have these three CDs hanging up here. Again, they're from the thrift store. Might try to find a couple more CDs and hang them like all up in this corner. But beneath the CDs, I have this little table with a plant on it. But this table, believe it or not, is actually from the thrift store. I literally got it for ten dollars, so it was such a good deal. And then this is Abigail's little bowl. We just put that there for decoration to tie in some of the red. This little plant is literally my pride and joy. I named him Benji and I think he's such a cutie. And then the pot that it's in is also from the thrift store. So yeah, that's how that wall is looking over there. And then I almost forgot to mention, this coffee table Liz actually already had at home and she just brought it with her for the apartment. Said she got it from Crate and Barrel if you're looking for a similar one. Here on the coffee table I have a bunch of little knickknacks. Again, these are mostly thrift store finds. And I literally picked up a bunch of random CDs from the thrift store too. I don't know why, but I just think that they look cool there. So yeah, that's all for the coffee table. Next to that, on this wall, we just have a little floor lamp, vines, and this mirror here. And then over here, we have Elizabeth doing schoolwork, being a scholar. But this is our dining room. Pretty sick how this area turned out. We actually like got almost all this stuff for free. So Abigail already had this table at home. And then Liz bought this bench from home. She said it was from Home Goods. Home Goods. I did so good, yeah. <laughs> And then these chairs, I believe, are from Walmart. So I like that they have cushions on them, so they're actually like pretty comfortable. And then on the wall above our dining table, this is a little collage that I put together. So like that, I just printed out a random picture of Rex Orange County, and then I framed it in a frame that I already had. Did the same thing for like that picture of DC there, and this little wall art drawing. Again, the vines are from Amazon. I put them in that little container, which is from Michaels. And then these two drawings here are actually things that I did myself, and I just literally painted them on the back of like one of those gift boxes that you would get for Christmas and I painted a border around it so it looked like a frame. So that's a really cheap idea if you're looking for some wall decor but you don't want to pay a lot of money for painting or canvases or anything like that. Definitely try just painting something yourself. To the right of that, we also have these record players hanging up. <laughs> All right, so moving on from the living room, let's go look at the rest of the apartment. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Our neon sign. Liz, do you want to talk about it? Where is it from? Um, I got her from Urban Outfitters. From Urban. Three years ago. So, so not sure if they not still sure if they have still it. Okay, so moving down the hallway we have our bathroom here this is actually Liz's bathroom but like Loki everybody uses it and wait look how funny this is she put up a sign that says <laughs> wood poop here again with four stars <laughs> which we both ordered off Amazon together and we thought it was hilarious for some reason and then we have a little closet out here in the hallway this is strictly for storage we just keep like all of our cleaning supplies um, to the right here is Liz's room, which I'll just give you a quick overview. So we ordered this set of frames and stuff from Amazon. That mirror is also from Amazon. And then I believe she got this Yikes poster from Society6 or Redbubble. Um, outside of Liz's room, we have our washer and dryer. We clearly have a lot of laundry to still do. I thought about cleaning this up, but I was too lazy, so. But anyway, if you walk on past that, you'll come to me and Abigail's room. <laughs> So when you first walk into my room, to the right here, I have this little setup with my desk and my dresser right next to each other. So we'll start with the desk. A lot of you guys have been asking me where this is from, and I believe the answer is Wayfair. I will definitely try to link it down below if I can find it. And then on top of my desk, I have a couple of things. This little plant right here, which is from Ikea. I also have this water cup here, which I carry around with me everywhere I go. And then I also have my mirror here. Hey, what's up? Which I use to do my makeup every morning. I'm pretty sure that guy's from Target. I don't know. <laughs> um, above my desk, I also have this calendar, which I really like. Um, this guy is definitely from Amazon. I'll have that link down below. And then this lamp is my newest addition to my room. Literally got this for like 30 bucks at Walmart, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> um, right above that, I also have this little crescent moon mirror, which is from Five Below, I believe. And then right next to that, this is my favorite, favorite piece that I like, probably have ever bought. I have this really awesome mirror here, which is from Home 
Home Goods. I went into Home Goods looking for one of those circular mirrors, like the really plain basic ones. And then I saw this and I was like, that is so cool. So I really, really wanted it for my apartment. Right beneath that, I have a couple of items on my dresser. So we have my Aveeno lotion, which I absolutely love. Um, I have this little trinket, like catch-all dish with a bunch of jewelry items in it. And then I have my favorite thing in the entire world, which is my YouTube plaque right next to that. And then I have my wallet here, which is from Target. And I have this little plant as well. So I remember I got this pot from Home Goods, and then my mom actually found a bunch of these leaves and stuff from Michael's and she like put it together for me so that it would look good. But really love how this whole area looks. I think it's such a vibe. Oh, and my dresser, I didn't even mention that. This is definitely from Ikea. Next to my dresser and my desk, hanging on the back of my door here, I have another full length mirror. Hey, this guy is definitely from Target. And then right before I show you guys my bed and stuff, which is over there, I'll just show you this area over here real quickly. So this is where we have our closets. This one is Abigail's. And then this one is mine. So I have a shoe rack on the bottom here where I keep all my shoes, duh. Um, and that is from Target. I believe these are also from Target. And then this little laundry bin here that says laundry on it is from Home Goods. Then if you turn around, this is the vanity where Abigail and I get ready every morning. Holy crap, it looks so bad in this lighting. It looks so dirty. I will eventually wash this mirror down, have not gotten around to that. I have this little plant here which I picked up from Trader Joe's the other day. And this is from Home Goods, our little toothbrush holder. So. so, yeah, this is where we use the bathroom and we shower. So riveting. I'm sure you guys don't really care. Okay, now for the best part, which is my bed area. <laughs> it looks a lot like my dorm room last year because I kind of reused all the decor pieces. So, if it looks familiar, that's probably why. Um, to start on the floor here, I have this rug, which I got from Amazon. I believe it was only like $20, $30, something like that. And I'm really, really happy I got it because I just love the Aztec pattern on it. Next to the rug here, I have my nightstand. So many of you guys have been asking me where this is from, but I'm pretty sure I got it from either Home Goods or World Market. So I would check both of those places. On top of my nightstand, I have my oil diffuser, which I believe is from like Five Below or something like that. I have this cool lamp, which is from Ikea. And then I'm charging my phone. Okay, moving on to my bed area. A lot of you guys have been asking me where my bed frame is from. And the answer is I actually ordered it online from Walmart. So you can kind of see it has like a very industrial kind of modern vibe. So I'm really happy with how that one looks. As for all my bedding, the comforter here, which just has a little bit of ruffle or something. I don't know what you want to call that, but a little bit of design on it. That is from Amazon. This blanket here is from Home Goods. Really like this guy because it has the tassel on the bottom which I'm such a big fan of this little sheepskin rug I mentioned in my morning routine video but that is also from Ikea it was like 20 bucks or so then I have all these pillows here this one on the far right I ordered off of Amazon so I'll try to link that down below for you guys and then these three here are all from home goods yes they're kind of old but you might still be able to find them or something similar at home goods and then above my bed I hung up same little like picture collage that I had in my dorm room last year. One of these pictures you can see right here actually fell off because I just hung them up with tape. So it's currently lying underneath my bed. I'm just too lazy to replace it. Have not found the willpower to do that yet, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> but yeah, I printed out all these pictures from Walmart. You can actually go online on a Walmart's website and choose the dimensions and everything that you want and then they'll print it out for you for pretty cheap, so that's what I did. Next to that, I also have this hanging plant. It's not a real hanging plant. It's literally just a trash basket that I got from Home Goods, and then I just stuffed some vines in it to make it a makeshift plant hanger type thing. And then right next to that, this is my tapestry, but I needed something to fill this wall space because it was just so huge and I didn't know what to do with it. So a tapestry is just an easy, very cheap way to fill up a lot of wall space. This one was from Amazon. I'll try to find that exact one and link it down below for you guys. Also on my bed, I have this throw blanket hanging off the railing here, which kind of matches the color from that pillow. Um, this guy is also from Home Goods, And then I also have this little plant in the corner. I ordered the plant part off of Amazon. Oh, I ordered this basket from Amazon too, but I got them separately. They didn't come together. I like put them together, if that makes sense. And then this side is obviously Abigail's. She did a really cute job decorating too, but I'm not gonna like go into detail about all her stuff. But yeah, I'll just give you another little overview of what the bedroom area is looking like. And then on this wall, the desk. Don't really know what else to say.
Okay guys, and that is pretty much it. That is everything that I want to show you in my apartment. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it took me a little while to get this up for you guys. I would have posted it earlier, but I was still kind of adding a bunch of details and just adding some finishing touches and stuff like that. So again, if there's something in my apartment that you saw that I did not mention or talk about, just comment down below and I will totally answer your question about where it's from or where I got it or whatever. And yeah, that is really it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you next Sunday in the next video. Yeah.